In this video, we're going to tackle some more questions with inverses. So for the first one, we want to show that f of x is equal to mx plus b from r to r is invertible, and we want to find the inverse. So how do we show it's invertible? Well, we need to show that it is a bijective function. So we need to show that it's injective, and we need to show that it's surjective. So injective. If f of x is equal to f of y, we need to show that x is equal to y. Okay, so let's substitute f of x and f of y in. So we're going to have mx plus b is equal to my plus b. We can subtract b from both sides. So we're going to get mx is equal to my. Then we can divide both sides by m, and we're going to get x is equal to y. So we're good. Next one is surjective. So what we'll do is we're going to set y is equal to mx plus b, and we're going to solve for x. Okay, so we're going to get y minus b is equal to mx, so y minus b over m is equal to x. So if we pick any value for y, we're going to get a corresponding x back. So it is surjective. So every single y we can think of we can put in and we'll get a unique x back. So we're good. Okay, and what is the inverse? Well, we solve for the inverse. So y minus b over m is equal to x. Okay, so that is the inverse and we've shown that it is invertible. So this one, we wanna show that x plus one over x plus two is bijective for f from the reals minus negative two to the reals minus one. So this will work. We won't run into any domain or range restrictions here. So first step, we want to show that it's injective. So again, we start with f of x is equal to f of y, and we want to show that x is equal to y. So we're going to have x plus one over x plus two is equal to y plus one over y plus two. We can cross multiply here. So we're going to get x plus 1 times y plus 2 is equal to y plus 1 times x plus 2. We're going to multiply these out. So we're going to get xy plus y plus 2x plus 2 is equal to xy plus x plus 2y plus 2. Okay. We can subtract x, y from both sides. We can subtract two from both sides. So we're gonna be left with y plus two x is equal to x plus two y. We're gonna bring all the y's to the right, all the x's to the left, and we're going to be left with x is equal to y. So it's injective. Okay, now we have to show that it's surjective. So we're gonna have y is equal to x plus one over x plus two, we know that x cannot be negative two here. We're fine because we're looking in the domain without negative two. Okay, let's multiply. So this is y x plus two y is equal to x plus one. Again, I just multiplied and distributed immediately. We're gonna bring all the x's to the left. So we're gonna have y x minus x is equal to one minus two y. We're going to factor out the x here. So we're going to have x times y minus 1 is equal to 1 minus 2y. And we'll divide both sides by y minus 1. So x is equal to 1 minus 2y over y minus 1. We see y here cannot be equal to 1. That's fine <laughs> because we're looking in the codomain where it's all the real numbers except for 1. So don't worry, I double checked this time. This video, it's good. So we've shown that. Yes, this is going to be in the reals, assuming that, of course, y is not equal to 1. So it's surjective. Okay, so now we've proven that it's bijective because it is both surjective and injective, and therefore the question is done. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them the best that I can.